Hey YouTube, Rider Zero here with a new review. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the first figures in the new Thundercats Classics line, which I'm super stoked about. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Lion-O action figure. Uh, Thundercats, as most of you know, just recently had uh, kind of a restart, reboot, whatever you want to call it, a new version that premiered on Cartoon Network, which is a fantastic show. If you haven't watched it, you definitely should because it's a really, really good show. Um, and with that came, uh, obviously, a whole new line of toys, new action figures, uh, role-play gear, uh, vehicles, everything. So, uh, one thing they did with the new line was they released the Thundercats Classics, which is fantastic because it pays homage to the original Thundercats cartoon, which I watched as a kid growing up. I love Thundercats. Uh, still to this day, the Thundercats logo is one of the most recognizable and one of my personal favorite logos of all time. Um, so enough rambling about it here. Uh, like I said, with the new line of toys they released, uh, so far there's only two that have been released. They released Thundercats Classics 8-inch figures of Lion-O and Tigra. Today we're going to be taking a look at the man himself, Lion-O. Uh, the packaging there you can see is kind of a standard package. It's like a box, kind of, uh, I don't know. I guess it's more fair to call it a box than anything, even though it kind of looks more like a, you know, just a standard I don't know what they call it, like clamshell packaging maybe? I don't know. But anyway, you can see the Thundercats logo there kind of in the background. Looking all massive and pretty badass looking actually. Uh, Thundercats Classics at the top, stylized like the old logo from the show. Uh, down here it says 18 points of articulation. And then on the side you get kind of a new stylized picture of Lino. I think it's kind of supposed to look more like the newer version. Uh, but you can tell just, you know kind of by the way that he looks there, that it's obviously the old school line Uh Nothing here on this side, and then on the back you get a little bit of info. Uh, just says, roaring back into action, these highly detailed and articulated figures are based on the classic 80's animated Thundercats series. Um, and then you get a shot of Lion-O there holding the Sword of Omens. Uh, kind of an action pose there. And then the accessories that it comes with, you get the, uh, you get the claw shield, the Sword of Omens, and kind of like the dagger mode. Uh, and then extra hands as well. So, and then at the bottom here, um, the other figure that comes in the Classics version, Tigra, and then the current 6-inch figures from the new series, uh, Lion-O, Panthro, and Mumra, which I will be getting those as well. I already actually have the new Lion-O. Uh, I do plan to get Panthro and Mumra, so look out for those in the future as well. So that's enough with the box. We'll go ahead and set this aside and take a look at the figure itself. Lion O. So you're going to notice he's already posed, kind of tilted a little bit there. Uh, I've had him out of the package for a little bit now. Uh, he's actually had a nice place on my desk aside uh, Tigra and the new Lion O. Um, like I said, I was really super stoked that they released these figures, and once I got them, I was even happier because they are fantastic figures and highly recommended, uh, especially if you like the old Thundercats. If you're a toy collector, you're definitely going to want to pick these up because they. They definitely pay homage to the original, and they're just worth every penny, in my opinion, anyway. Um, so we'll kind of pull them in a little closer here and take a look at some of the detailing. Focus in there. Uh, let me move the arms out of the way, which needed to be done anyway. Taking a look at the uh, detailing, though, he is very nicely detailed. Uh, very accurate representation of Lion O from the show. Definitely, definitely looks really good. The hair kind of has a fiery orange color to it, uh, even down to kind of like the eye. I don't want to call it makeup, but that's what it reminds me of, kind of, I don't know. Um, we'll just say that the face looks really good. Uh, going around to the back over there, the detailing kind of looks like the hair's flowing in the wind, all action-y like. Um, the suit looks really good. Like I said, very accurate to the 80s version uh, of Lion-O. Nice big Thundercats logo there on the belt. And then going all the way down for the detailing here. The only thing that bugs me on these is right here for the ankle joint. The entire boot is colored this blue. And even when you're just kind of standing there, it's like a big spot of flesh orangey colored paint there. I don't know. It just bugged me when I sat there and looked at it. And I thought I'd point that out. It's not a huge flaw. However, it just bugs me and needs to be painted. So I may do that pretty soon. Um, 
So about detailing, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much a plain costume. Uh, if you've seen the 80s version of, of Thundercats, then you know it, you can pretty much tell that it's a very accurate representation of the cartoon. Uh, Articulation-wise, I was really, really happy with these. Um, he's very nicely articula articulated. The head on mine is a little bit loose at the neck, and I don't know if that's just because the actual head sculpt is so big with all this uh, plastic molded for the hair or if it's just a problem with the joint. So if you have this figure uh, and you have a loose neck, let me know and put it down in the comments what you think. Um, so you can kind of see there, you know, like I said, it's a little loose. Not a huge, huge deal. I wasn't too upset with it. Um, but anyway, articulation, you know, you get a swivel there. A very, very tight joint as you can hear the creaking. The neck moves up and down. Uh, shoulders, you get a full 360 degree rotation. Uh, you get the hinge there at the shoulder. Bicep swivel. I uh, don't know. No, it's not double. You get a standard hinge joint for the elbow. Uh, and then the hand itself swivels and rotates and moves back and forth. All that good hand movement. Uh, he gets the ab crunch and the chest movement as well. As you can see there, uh, the whole thing does swivel as well. Uh, same articulation over here for the hand, so I won't bother showing that. For the thigh, you get a really good range of motion forward and backwards. It does go out to the side, and then you can see there that it swivels at the top of the thigh. That cut right there, since he, his costume kind of stops looking like a leotard, um, you can kind of see the cut for where the swivel is at the hip, which is a little bit distracting, but not real bad. Uh, very surprised and happy that they included double jointed knees on this guy. And then for the ankle, you get your standard hinge there, and then it does move side to side a little bit as well. So... Uh, overall, a very nice figure. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. It comes with a few accessories, which if I can keep my hand out from front of the camera, we'll take a look at real quick as well. Focus in there a little bit on the, on the figure. Uh, Accessory-wise, you can see there he comes with the, with the regular sort of omens. And it's full badassery, about to kick some lizard ass version. Um, he gets the claw shield as well. And then... Stand up. Don't go nowhere. Uh, along with those, he gets extra hands. There is this hand here. Kind of like a relaxed, open, splayed open hand. Uh, there's actually two of those for each side. Um, the sword holding hand for this hand over here. Uh, like I said, again, the claw. And then there is another sort of omens. And it's non-extended dagger version. Um... The claw actually comes off, however, I'm not going to bother taking it off because all it reveals is the uh, the joint to stick that on the peg there, so I'm not going to bother with it because there's no use. Uh, one cool thing about the claw, though, if you don't have, if you're not posing them with the, you know, with the Sword of Omens in the fully extended mode, uh, you can take the claw, and, or take the sword and put it down into the holster there. Uh, there's a little notch, which I guess I should show. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let's see if we can catch it here in the light. Uh, there's a little notch that it slides down into. Um, you can see it right there on the on the actual shield. Uh, basically, like I said, you just slide it right down in there. Uh, it goes all the way. It's kind of a tight fit, but it will go all the way down in there. Uh, and then there you go. You know, you've, that's pretty much it for the figure. Um, like I said, it's definitely definitely worth picking up if you're a fan of Thundercats. New or old, um, if you're an old school toy collector, you're really going to enjoy it, I think. And, um, you know, it's, it's definitely one that belongs on the shelf. So that's going to do it for this guy. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. As always, happy to answer. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Don't forget to check out RidersRangersAndRambles.com. Uh, go check out the Ramboards while you're there. Follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash RiderZero. And that's going to do it. So until next time, thanks for watching. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.